Tony Khan, MJF, Adam Cole, and others addressed the media following AEW All In on Sunday. Tony Khan confirmed that an incident took place backstage during the show, but stated he was unable to address it any further at this time. Neither CM Punk nor Jack Perry took part in Sunday's media scrum following reports that they had a physical altercation backstage at the event. Uh, I can't comment on it at this time beyond what I'm about to say. Yes, there was an incident backstage. Uh, before we went live on tonight's show, we are investigating it until I learn more about what happened. I can't really address it at this time, so I can't comment, but I did want to be honest with you and tell you that is the case. Tony Khan then confirmed that the paid attendance was 81,035 for the show. When including staff, comps, and other non-paying attendees, he estimates over 90,000 people were in the building. The AEW president then gave a prepared statement regarding the original All In event in 2018. All In began with four great pioneers, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and the Young Bucks. And they put together a great show roughly five years ago, five years ago next weekend, that changed pro wrestling. The original All In five years ago was the largest independent pro wrestling show of all time. Today, five years later, AEW All In is the biggest pro wrestling show of all time, period. Tony then brought out MJF as the first member of the roster to address the media, for the most part telling Captain Character throughout. Before taking questions, MJF spoke about how the AEW locker room doesn't always get along, but they come together to put on great wrestling shows. We're not just an alternative. We are a gang of misfit toys, of guys that should have been, never was, guys that should never be in the position that we're in today. And yeah, sometimes we don't get along. Newsflash, I'm sure you mother got people at work, you want to head by the mouth. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, we are misfits, but guess what? We come together, we put on the best professional wrestling shows this world has ever seen. The AEW champion continued to say he is ready to step up and be the face of the company. Adam Cole spoke about having gone from being worried about his career being over to wrestling in front of a record-breaking crowd. He said it's the happiest he's ever been. I, again, I, I've said this before, but the older I get, the more I try to sit back and reflect on moments like this. Because like early on in my career, I was so obsessed with the next thing and go, go, go and, and make the next step and progress even further to where sometimes I wasn't able to kind of sit back and smell the roses in a lot of ways. But specifically from, from aging and getting older, and then on top of that, like you had mentioned, you know, 12 months ago, there was legitimate fear that I was maybe never gonna get to wrestle again. So at one point, I was just excited at the idea of being able to come out and like cut a promo or do an interview or maybe have a couple of matches. So to fast forward and then be in this main event with MJF, for the AEW World Championship in like this record-breaking crowd. It's unbelievable. MJF said he respected him for coming back and Tony Khan said he would have paid Adam Cole every dime of his contract if he couldn't have. During the AEW International Champions Orange Cassidy's media scrum portion, Penta El Cero Miedo came out and Tony Khan announced that Orange Cassidy will defend the title against Penta on Dynamite. Cassidy also said he wants to face John Moxley. Tony then announced that the winner of the match will face Moxley at All Out. During the Don Cal and Kanoshke Takeshita media portion, a match between Takeshita and Kenny Omega was made for All Out. He is, in my opinion, perhaps the best athlete in all of wrestling, the best pure athlete. 6'3", 240, he's got Luthez size, again, Olympic level decathlete. Um, there's not many guys 6'3", and 240 to move like Takeshita. We, don't, we, don't need to, we have that base covered. What we need is more aggression, and I think you've started to see that. And I think what you saw tonight is, um, this is not just the new Kenny Omega, this might be the new God of Pro Wrestling. Soraya also reacted to becoming the new AEW Women's World Champion at All In. I'm not just gonna say it just because he's sitting right beside me, but you have no idea how much he's helped me in my comeback and just believing in me and being like, listen, we're gonna go look at your neck and we're gonna see it, and if it's 100%, then I'm backing you 100%, you know, and it was, and it was just wonderful. And you know, the, he didn't give me this straight away, you know, and I'm thankful for that because we got to tell stories and have fun and do outcasts. And it's the most fun I've ever had. Like me, Tony, and Ruby together, we have a great time and we're enjoying it every single week and we love everything that he's been doing for us and it's just absolutely incredible and I'm appreciative, you know, that I got this moment here in the UK and it's 
also having my whole family here, like, you, you know, got Queen and everything, I was like, bloody hell. But uh, yeah, I was really, it was just really, really cool. And just the process of it, I never thought I was ever gonna wrestle again. That was it. They said, you will never wrestle again. WWE cut ties with any kind of doctors and was like, we're not gonna check you anymore. So I was kind of in limbo for five years and I never kind of hit rock bottom with it, with no pun intended for the wrestling fans in here, but I never like hit rock bottom with it. I kept in a very positive mindset. And so, you know, when I got the call from Tony, he was just like, let's fucking go. Let's try this. Let's, let's go do all the, you know, he, he was like, just, he just seemed so positive and awesome. And I was like, man, I want to kick some ass, you know? And so, yeah, I started training more, getting in the gym. I was working out every single day. I started watching AEW religiously every single day. I was like, this is so cool. And I already wanted to be a part of it so bad. It wasn't inspired anyway, but um, yeah, it's just been a crazy journey. I never thought I'd be here. I never thought I would be in Wembley Stadium in the biggest crowd in wrestling history. I mean, it's just a dream come true and I'm so thankful. And Last but not least, Tony Khan spoke about a brand new pay-per-view coming titled Wrestle Dream. What has not been announced and what I was really looking forward to talking about, and I'm so glad you set me up so I didn't have to bring it up out of nowhere, it was October 1st last year that Mr. Antonio Inoki passed away. I don't believe I would be in this position had he not done so many of the great things he did. And I think New Japan Pro Wrestling carried the torch for strong style pro wrestling for the top junior heavyweight wrestlers and so many of the top stars in AEW and ROH have wrestled in New Japan Pro Wrestling and now New Japan Pro Wrestling is a great partner to us. And I was devastated last year when Mr. Inoki passed. I did not know Antonio Inoki at all, but I really looked up to him. He was a hero of mine. And I took note of it and that date, October 1st, has stuck with me. We are coming up next week next weekend with All Out. And you asked me about doing more pay-per-view events, more big shows. And I can announce here for the first time that on October 1st at the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, it will be the first ever Wrestle Dream. Wrestle Dream, uh, one year anniversary of the passing of wrestling's greatest dreamer and I thought it would be very fitting. And after All Out, you won't have to wait for Full Gear in November. Uh, speaking of Full Gear, I guess I can confirm what I've seen in the media. I don't know how, I don't know how y'all found out, but people seem to find out. I can confirm that this year, Full Gear will take place November 19th. November 18th. November 18th, excuse me, because it's Saturday. Excuse me, that's right. The, 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 thank you, Saturday, November 18th. Uh, because the Jaguars are November 19th, that's right. So sa uh, Saturday, November 18th, it'll be, we'll go back to Saturday pay-per-views, will be Sunday, October 1st, and uh, full gear, we will continue the Saturday night tradition. Thank you, Raph. It'll be Saturday night, November 18th. Uh, we will be in Los Angeles at the Forum for full gear. And very excited to go back to the Forum where we've had some of the greatest nights in AEW. Uh, we've done two of our best episodes of Dynamite, I think. Uh, last year and this year at the forum and it'll be great to make our pay-per-view debut in one of the biggest markets for full gear but like I said you don't have to wait for full gear for us to return to pay-per-view after all out I'm very excited about Russell Dream it's gonna be a great show 